I don't know of any other um, units or courses that are delivered in the same way as we deliver them. So I developed a course, I wrote the course on broadcast television and I brought in industry professionals that surround me and to deliver the program that we, we delivered to them. We break them up into groups, so we break them up into camera, into audio, into the floor, um, CCU, camera, graphics, and we monitor them all the time. So we're going around and we're continuously working with them. I also bring in uh, the students that are above them to come in and work with students because students work off with somebody a year older than them um, so they can see, hey, I'll be there in one year and wow, because there's quite a difference in the level of what they operate at. And they do a self-assessment as well. All my lecturers are currently working in the industry. All big time, they've all got their multi-million dollar edit suites. They uh, assess them and look at what they need. I've set up a partnership with the ABC. Channel 10 Network have come on board with us. GWN7, they're all industry professionals. And then we bring in Gearhouse Broadcasting and, and Global Television, which is now NEP. And they take them out every weekend. So I roster my students on the AFL, on the soccer, rugby, football. So they're continuously out nearly every fortnight. And then they have an assessment from the, uh, the supervisor, the OB supervisor, or the floor manager, whoever they're working for. And they give a report back to me on the students progress. My guys can pick up a camera, they can operate, they can ship the camera, they can do their own lighting, they can do their audio, then they'll take it away and edit, edit themselves. They produce, they direct their vision switch. They're very professional. The skill level is very, very high. And when they, they do go out for their work experience, the industry people can't believe the level out and they're, they're giving them jobs immediately. But our main method really is observation, real opportunities, you know, working in the industry um, under supervision of industry professionals. To see the students go into an, the, the OB truck, the outside broadcast van, and operate that on their own is what we're using in the industry. I mean, they're digital trucks, these, you know, they're $5 million trucks. And the students are going in there, turn it on, switch it, operate, and away they go. It's really good to see. For the validation, I have other lecturers. And then we sit down around the table. Uh, when I write the assessment, we put it out and they go through the assessments and they tick all the boxes and how we're going to work it. Some of the, the assessments are in the master control, putting everything together, hooking up your cameras, hooking up, uh, um, connecting the flyway kit together. So putting your audio, vision, cameras. For instance, we just did, uh, I gave them four video clips and part of the assessment was to go to three different locations for the shoot and then the final is in the studio. So you're always going around seeing what they're doing and my other lecturers with me as well um, for whoever's looking after that unit. So we assess them by visually and we have viewing. So when we have viewing, so we bring the editors in, tell them where they made a mistake, give them a chance to go back and correct that, reshoot if the option's there for them. So we're always continuously watching them and then when it comes into the studio, all hands on deck, all, all lecturers are there in their different departments, watching over them. We give them, uh, we advise them how to set this and go for it, then we let them run with it. Afterwards, then we break it down, we look at the final product, and then we go through it again. You could have done this better, looked at this better, this better, etc., etc. but it's very good. I'm committed to it, I love it. I do it because I want to develop and bring these young people forward to, to work in the industry.